Right, we're going to need lots of units to get all those frigates. And 24 hours later, everyone's put up loads of bases. So if you want easy units, do it the easy way. Visit some bases. So let's visit Happy Walk on YouTube's base. And stop plucking his farm. Remember, use the computer in the centre to get them all. And he's gone with the sack men in farm. And I got nearly 3 million from his base. Not too bad. Of course, that's not enough to get enough frigates. So let's go to another base. Let's go back to Stu's base. The one I went to in my previous video. You might have to visit a few more bases than me. But Stu's base has got a selection of stuff. It looks like he's glitched in quite a lot of plants in one biodome. So I think it's going to be a two tripper. Let's pick up the rest of the stuff. Oh, and remember to check your ship because it'll probably fill that up as well. I think I got six million from those two bases. But the gold like sand, milestone, has popped. But let's go and get those frigates. What you're going to have to do is jump a lot. So you're going to need quite a bit of warp fuel. And I found it's best to do it in your ship. And when you warp into your system, what you're looking for is that. Fly towards the freighters. And then let's inspect the frigates. I'm going to pick up a random selection. I you need different frigate types for different missions. But do pick up at least a couple of combat ships. Oh, and when you jump to a new system, it's always worth popping into the space station. Because this sometimes happens. Can you see my screen's vibrating? That tells me frigates and freighters are warping in. So let's go outside and inspect the frigates. There they are. Let's head towards them. Another combat ship. Yep, let's pick that up. Oh, two combat ships. But remember to pay close attention to the stats. You don't want any of those red ones. Let's warp to another system. This fleet had a combat ship with a red stat. Reject it. And let's do one more warp. When I warped in here, I had a freighter battle going on. You can get your pirates from here. But freighter battles are also worth doing to collect the wards off the guy at the end. And when you complete it, a freighter with frigates will pop in. Oh, and if you want, give us a wee sub. But let's go back to my freighter and send those newly acquired frigates out on mission. To send more than one mission out, you need more than one fleet command room. So it looks like I'm going outside to do a bit of mining to get the gold and silver. How to get the fleet command room is my previous video. I'll put the link up now. Now I've got enough gold and silver, I can build four more flight command rooms. That's five in total. You can only send five missions out a day, so five should be enough. When picking missions, pay attention to the how long they take. Combat missions usually are the shortest. And when assigning frigates to the mission, Try and make sure you're one star above the difficulty rating. That will reduce the chance of them coming back damaged. But as you can see with this mission, I'm taking a risk here. But hey, what can you do? I could move the clock forward to complete these missions quickly, but I'm not going to do that. I don't like doing that. There's a possibility it could corrupt your save. But of course, finally, we need fuel. But as you visited all those space stations, you can return to the galactic trade terminals and find one that's selling dihydrogen jelly and tritium if you need it. Return back to your freighter and use your large refiner to turn the dihydrogen jelly into dihydrogen. And when you've got enough of those two materials, you can make lots of frigate fuel. Then all you've got to do, wait for them to return, send them back out again. Fortunately, that might take quite a few days. Do not change the system clock. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.